is official. The torch has been lit and the Olympic Games, well, they are getting ready to get underway. But today, I'm not just talking about the Olympics. I'm talking about a Connecticut connection to the Olympics. A man who's now going to his third Olympic Games, his first summer games, and he's ready to hit this one out of the park. First, it was Salt Lake City. <laughs> then it was Torino. And now? I'm going to Tokyo. I'm excited. I'm really, uh, you know, the Olympics are like no other event. I'm biased. We're representing the greatest nation on earth. Good control. Jim Rone has a history with the Olympic Games, having gone with the bobsled and skeleton teams in the past. He's an orange native and now has his own strength and conditioning and physical therapy business. Bones in the wrist is actually getting a little better. My vision was always to have all three components under one roof. Here, he uses his knowledge from having been a former college athlete himself to having worked with the general public high school athletes, and also some of the world's top sports stars. Squeeze, squeeze. Keep the elbows in. Good, chest nice and tall. Good, control on the way down. Go. But now, Jim is taking a swing at his next role. I am the strength and conditioning coach for USA Baseball, physical therapist and the assistant athletic trainer. Jim, excited to represent the red, white, and blue, but also his home base too. Been here my entire life. Other than leaving for school, I've been a resident of Connecticut my entire life. And uh, it's nice to be able to represent. And I'm really proud to represent the United States of America. Not to mention his alma mater as well. Before you go to hit somebody, you're gonna brace yourself. Brace yourself here and I'll bring the boy down slow. I've raised my family in Orange and all my kids went to Amity and to be able to stay involved with the, the athletic program and with the school uh, as a whole, it's such a great place and they do such a great job in the community. It's nice to be a small part of that and to be able to give back a little bit. It's pretty bizarre just to have someone who I'm able to work so closely with be on such a high level. I mean, I'm truly like honored by it. I feel that he's just a great mentor. It's a gift for me. I mean, I, I um, years ago, I spoke at, at an Amity function and told them that my best days are the days when I get to go to Amity and help on campus because I was a, a graduate many years ago, 1984. I was definitely surprised, especially because like, we're in the middle of like workouts. He's like, oh, I'm going to Tokyo. And I was like, okay, that's, that's pretty interesting. For these athletes, interns, and many others who have been under Jim's care, it's evident that Jim is always looking for a home run. When I started the whole process of, of trying to get involved with Olympics, summer was always kind of what I had aimed for. And along the way, I got lucky enough to be asked to work uh, for two winter teams, and we were really successful, but this is, uh, kind of a culmination of uh, a long time mission. And for Team USA Baseball, it's time to step up to the plate. The interesting thing about baseball is six teams make the Olympics, but you beat each other up on the way to qualifying. So we were in a region of the Americas, so we had to beat Puerto Rico and Venezuela and Nicaragua and uh, Dominican Republic and uh, Curacao and some you know great great teams who produce tremendous talent. It's just great. I love, I love being here. I love the energy that's in this building every day, and I love being able to get up and like take what he's giving me and apply it to the rest of these kids and really able to help them out. With the games officially starting today, what's next? A medal, perhaps? But I'm a little superstitious, so I'll keep that prediction to myself. I don't want to jinx anything either. We're pretty good. Fingers crossed. We see a podium. Fingers crossed we see a podium, for sure. Fingers crossed indeed. I always have to say knock on, knock on wood. I'm very superstitious about those things. Uh, yes, we didn't, we didn't want to jinx anything, but Jim has been sending me updates yeah. from overseas. Actually getting some texts this morning. Uh, he's telling me, uh, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to march in the, in the opening ceremonies. They're doing a lottery system just to make sure that they're able to contain the amount of people who are able okay. to go. Uh, so that is something, unfortunately, you know, he obviously wanted to go, but safety first. And so he's getting ready to uh, watch it. They're having a little delegation watch party. Uh, and he's just telling me it's awesome. I said, you know, is it, is it looking empty? He was sending me some photos of in the village. He's said, no, it's actually bustling and I feel really safe. And That's probably the only place that is bustling because yes. it's the venues, the stands are the well, ones that are empty. What I found that was interesting is that he told me, I mean, prior to going to the games, there's obviously a laundry list of things they had to do to be ready to go. Right. And uh, there's all sorts of things you have to do when you're there. There's a very strict itinerary where he knows where he has to be at what time. Yeah. Uh, and also there's an app on their phone that tracks them, tracks the areas that they're in. It can let them know if sure. there are alerts yeah. or risks in the area. So the safety protocols that have been put in place for these games, significantly different, obviously 
obviously than any other games, but these are like no other games we've seen before. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I yeah. mean, I, a part of the, 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 the uh, I, I got to imagine, I mean, you could speak to this more than anybody, part, part of the, the fun of being in the opening ceremonies is the pomp and the circumstance in front of so many people. And I just feel like, yeah, the spectacle has been lessened a little bit because there's not going to be fans. The only thing I can say to make some folks feel better is that I actually did not go to the opening ceremonies. And that is because swimmers do not typically go to opening ceremonies. Because you're already swimming? swimming. Swimming starts the first day. And so it's you went a, to the closing ceremonies, we though, right? Yeah. Ceremonies. Yes. So, and that, in, okay. in my opinion, is the better of the two closing ceremonies. You know, you're done, everyone's relaxed. The opening ceremonies, you're still like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Ah, and true. for swimmers, we couldn't true. be on our feet for eight hours. It's a, it's a long ordeal. So <laughs> we had to sit back, too. So, you know, I, I get it. I get what you're, what you're going through tonight. Yeah. But uh, we'll be checking in. Are they going to bring back another medal? I brought mine in today just for good luck and uh, wishing them the best. Yeah, there it is. that thing is. Yeah, a bronze back from 2012. That seems like many moons ago now. Yeah, it's further and further idiot. away. All right, so keep your questions coming. Doing a Facebook Live around 7.35. So tune in to our Facebook page if you've got other Olympic questions for Jim, for myself, whatever you need to know.